In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up WooCommerce shipping restrictions in just a few simple steps. For example, if you sell sensitive items on your store, such as batteries, liquids, certain shipping providers won't actually allow you to ship those items. So in this case, you want to disable those providers to users purchasing those sensitive items to only show the shipping providers who will actually ship those orders to your customers. Another example could be if you cater to both B2B and B2C customers, you might want to disable certain shipping method to your B2B customers. Assuming that they'll be ordering in bulk quantities, you might want to disable the majority of shipping methods to them and only enable local collection and vice versa. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve both scenario and more. So the first thing you want to do is head over to optimizeform.com slash YouTube to get access to this particular shipping restriction rules plugin. And then you can follow along with the tutorial. When you add that slash YouTube at the end, you'll be able to get access to this particular plugin and all the other plugins free for an entire month. So without further ado, let's head over to my screen. Okay, now I'm on my demo site. So assuming that you've headed over to optimizeform.com slash YouTube and downloaded the Optimizeform core plugin, the next thing you want to do is log into your WordPress dashboard, navigate to plugins, add new, upload plugin, and basically click this choose file here. Browse for the Optimizeform plugin, click install. Once you've installed it, hit activate. And once you've done that, you'll see this optimized form menu here. Next thing you want to do is navigate to activate. On this page, you want to enter in the license key that you was given on the thank you page. And also you should have had an email with your license key. So just enter it, hit activate. Once you've done that, scroll up to modules and then you want to scroll down to where it says optimized form shipping and payments. Hit install once you've installed it. Toggle this switch to on. Once you've done that, you'll see this manage button here. Hit manage. And then you want to navigate to where it says shipping methods. Okay, and your end, this section will be blank. The next thing you want to do is click add restrictions. And for this example, I'm going to name this one um, order cart restriction. And the reason is we're going to restrict certain shipping, me shipping methods based on the total amount in the user's cart. You can name this whatever you want. It's just for your internal purpose. When you see the rule, you'll instantly know what the rule actually applies to. So in this case, I'm going to exclude this flat rate this UK flat rate shipping. And in fact, I'm going to exclude all shipping methods. And the condition will be if the order value, so the cart total is less than $20. So if the cart totals less than $20, the user will won't be able to access this flat rate shipping method. So let's hit save. And then let's head over to our storefront. Okay, so now I'm going to choose this particular product. Select option, add to cart, view cart. And if we set this rule up correctly, in fact, this item, this item's over $20. So our rule won't actually apply to this product. So I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to reduce the quantity on this one to ensure that our order value is under $20. So as you can see, you can see the shipping here, the shipping method. So we've got the flat rate shipping and since the order value is under $20, it's saying that there's no shipping option available. And that's because on my shipping settings, I've only set up one, well, I've set up two shipping method, which is free shipping and flat rate shipping. For free shipping, I believe I've set it that the user have to have a minimum order value of $50 to qualify for that free shipping. So as you can see, our order rules working fine. And if I was to disable this particular rule 
and then just update well let's just refresh this cart page and we should see um, the flat rate shipping available and there we go you can see the flat rate shipping available there and let's do another example so let's create a new restriction rule okay let's say you you sell various products and you store um, some lightweight um, and others bulky items because I've already set up a shipping class so if I navigate to WooCommerce settings and where's shipping shipping and then let's go to shipping class well classes I created a shipping class for bulky items because we want to treat bulky items differently from we would um, our other products so I just created a new class you can add a new one name it whatever you want we could create one for liquid products so in this case I could just call it liquid um, add the slug there liquid and basically assign this class to any liquid product we've we've got so here in the UK I believe that like the Royal Mail that don't allow shipping of liquid products so in this case if a user were to add a liquid product to their cart then we'll disable the Royal Mail shipping option so I hope that makes sense if I navigate back over to my restriction rules I'm going to create so let's minimize this one I'm going to create a new restriction rule for bulky items and then here we get to choose which shipping method we want to restrict from bulky items so we in this case we could remove say all shipping apart from local pickups so if someone's ordering a bulky item maybe one we want to only give them the option to pick up that bulky item so in this case we just disable all the other shipping method and leave um, bulky local pickup so that's one scenario and then condition here we can add shipping class so if the shipping class in a package equals bulky items then basically it will disable all these shipping method and then we just hit save and I've got one product which I've labeled bulky item so in this product here if we go shipping then shipping class here you can see I've assigned a bulky item class to this particular product so if a user were to order this product then it will restrict the flat rate shipping and also free shipping okay so this is a bulky item product I believe Let's add it to cart and then let's click view cart and there as you can see only local pickup is available since this item is classed as a bulky item so you can get super creative with the rules in which you can create here we just showed restricting certain shipping method based on the item type and also as well earlier we showed a restriction rule based on the cart value and here you can add multiple conditions um, for example if you wanted to restrict a certain shipping method based on the user role so say for example if it's a wholesale customer you might want to restrict a certain shipping method that's available to them or again let's delete this condition like you can restrict it based on the person's billing address the category in which the products in the coupon code in which they've used it so say for example if you've got um, say for example if you're giving a user a massive discount um, site-wide or on a particular product you might want to disable certain shipping option to protect your profit margin basically and you can create multiple shipping rules as well we can create shipping rules based on countries and this is a bit this is for a different video but we can also apply the same methodology to payments so you can restrict um, certain payment method based on various things and their location um, customer role order value and so much more if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and let me know in the comment box below if you've got any questions or if there's any other videos you'd like me to create covering the topic of shipping or something else 
Have a great day.